guys, how's it going? I'm back for another tutorial, so let's get started. First, what you want to do is apply a primer, and here I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And this will just help your eyeshadow stick on better to your eyelids as well as make it pop. Next, I'm going in with Peach Smoothie as my transition shade, and this will just help tie the whole look together. Here, I'm adding creme brulee to define the transition a little more. Next, going in with Country Girl, I'm just going to add this into my crease. And so here, I'm just sketching out the line and then I'm going to smooth it out with the same brush. You want to remember that after every eyeshadow application, you always want to take your blending brush to blend everything out and that's what I'm doing here. Next, I'm taking these two eyeshadow colors and mixing them together and we're just going to apply this to the outer and inner crease just to define that area a little more. We're going to leave the middle part blank and then right after, we're going to go in with our brush that we used before and just smooth it out just like so and then again back with that blending brush this is makeup geek soft dome brush by the way which is my favorite so you should go get it and then I'm going in with shimmer shimmer from makeup geek and I love this color you can also use it as a highlight on your cheeks so that's what I really love about it and then I'm just gonna smooth it out with that brush we used earlier on our crease As always, don't forget to line your eyes using any kind of eyeliner. I personally love liquid liner, so that's why I'm using this one. And then you can use any kind of pencil or gel liner to line your top and bottom waterline. Now going in with this shade called Frappe, I'm just going to line my lower lash line as well as smudge it out using creme brulee. After that, I'm just going to go back into Peach Smoothie and blend out any of the harsh edges. Back with the lighter shade, I'm going to highlight my inner corners as well as underneath my brow bone. Moving on to the lashes, I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara to my bottom lashes. And then for the top, I'm going to curl it and then apply my false lashes. Of course, as always, you can use mascara, but I just love my lashes. I am so addicted. It's kind of a problem. Here, I'm just hiding the band of the lashes. And then I applied my lip color. I didn't show it on camera, but here it is. Hey guys, this is the final look. I hope it was easy enough for you to follow. And again, I used my Makeup Geek eyeshadows because I am obsessed with Makeup Geek. Like if you don't have Makeup Geek eyeshadows yet, you need to go get yourself some because they are amazing, they're great quality, they're really pigmented, and it's really inexpensive. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!